further, really happy to be joined by Jeff Deal, a Massachusetts state rep who is our Republican nominee for the United States Senate against Elizabeth Warren. Jeff, I appreciate you taking some time and joining me. Give me your overall broad take on this controversy over the president's policy at the border. Well, thanks, Joe, for having me on. First of all, this isn't necessarily President Trump's policy. This was enacted back in 1997. It's been uh, in effect for a long time. In fact, it was uh, under President Clinton uh, you know, at the time, and now under Obama. That was the, I think you probably discussed it, some of the photos of kids in cages was, you know, under the Obama administration. I think all the president's doing now is trying to make sure that uh, our immigration law is followed, allowing Border Patrol to finally do the job they've been asked to do. And I'll tell you, I went down to uh, the Mexican border in El Paso, right across from Juarez, and I saw eight mile gaps when uh, Obama cut the funding and it wasn't finished. Uh, we need to make sure we protect our Border Patrol and our citizens in the United States just as much as the Mexican government should be trying to do something to relieve this uh, crisis that's going on as well. Jeff, what do we do? We've got a problem right now. Uh, as you know, folks coming up from Central America and Mexico, they've figured out how to play the system. And so in many cases, adults will show up with children because traditionally it's been easier to get in and then stay in. How do we address this problem? Well, Joe, if I can just plug it real quickly, my website dealforsenate.com has an outline of a plan I have to try to fix immigration reform. A lot of it is building the wall, of course, but the other thing too is ending chain migration, but also making sure we cut off benefits to those who are here illegally. I am all for people coming to our country uh, and becoming citizens. And I have a plan, uh, I've actually filed legislation in the Massachusetts legislature for years trying to speed up the process for immigration. Uh, it's a broken system that I think Congress has been kicking the can down the road on too long. But you've got to make it so that people are not coming to our country for the wrong reasons. They're coming here to become citizens and work here. And so what's the tragedy now is we're seeing parents basically, you know, putting their kids, you know, in harm's way by, by sending them on their own across the border, hoping that they will ultimately become citizens. And I'm, again, chain migration, bring them in as well. Uh, it's really creating a very dangerous situation. As we've all seen with these coyotes bringing uh, people across, you know, they're paying $5,000 to be brought into the United States. And in some cases, they're in vehicles in the hot desert sun. They're dying on their way up here. Uh, it's really a humanitarian crisis that's caused by the fact that we don't have a secure border and immigration law that basically makes sure that those trying to come into our country do it legally because that's the safest route possible. Hey, Jeff, you're a Republican candidate for the United States Senate in Massachusetts, like Illinois. It's a blue state. You're, you're, you're strong on the border, which I love. As you campaign in Massachusetts, how do most folks respond to the wall and, and this issue of securing our border? Well, look, don't let the uh, Taxachusetts or the blue state thing fool you. In fact, Elizabeth Warren, uh, her negative ratings right now are pretty high, which is why we are actually really close with polling in this race. And it's because she is really bad on policy, whether it comes to sanctuary cities or sanctuary state right. status, which I've always opposed. In fact, our budget this year, I'll be debating in a few weeks, uh, includes trying to make Massachusetts a sanctuary state. The people of our state understand that it's a bad policy. It keeps uh, ICE officials from being able to work with local law enforcement to identify those who are here illegally uh, committing crimes. Look, we had the largest roundup in the country recently, 61 members of MS-13 in Boston uh, were rounded up and prosecuted, uh, and people don't even want to admit, the liberals don't want to admit that MS-13 even exists in Massachusetts. They exist, it's dangerous. And I think, uh, you know, when it comes to border security and making sure that also all the money that we're losing in Massachusetts, $1.8 billion out of our $40 billion budget yeah. goes to cover the cost of those here illegally. That could go towards schools, uh, police officers in those schools for safety, could go towards uh, people's retirements or housing. There's a lot of things in Massachusetts we need. I wanna go to Washington, actually have a seat at the table that Elizabeth Warren will never have, and her open borders policy, her sanctuary support is completely out of touch with the people of Massachusetts.
Well, Jeff, I'd much rather have you in Washington than Elizabeth Warren, that is for sure. Jeff Deal, thank you. Republican candidate for the United States Senate in Massachusetts, thanks for joining us. Hey, coming up, there is a populist surge, not just here in America, but big time in Europe as well.